Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Keegtunes here, and we're back with episode 2 of our Stardew Valley Let's Play. Our last video it was a lot of fun, and I really enjoyed doing it, and I figured we're going to continue this season. So let's get started. Back on the farm, we're back off where we started. It was raining in our last game, and we never checked our mailbox, so I'm, I think I'm going to check that. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Sounds like a pretty good bargain. We're going to have to go buy Pierre's or later on today and check that pricing out so that we can make sure I can get that uh, that built up and I build enough money I guess and yeah build enough money for that backpack going along I think I'm just gonna kind of clear up my farm a little bit more just down here try to collect a few more things and kind of a rainy day. I, I want to go check Pierre's store up before hitting the mines and see that backpack price, but I know there's the mine that we can go do as long as the it's clear. I, I can't remember the steps that were put into place for that, but I'm going to go check that out. I'm just waiting for Pierre's store to open so we can go check that out first. In the meantime, let's Let's work on our scavenging. I know we can scavenge all these different things around the farm. Like, there's daffodils, leeks. There's different things depending on the different season. Currently, it looks like our inventory is full, so I can't pick that leek up. But I might be able to grab these daffodils. Go sell those off, and it should shortly be time for Pierre's General Market to open up for us, and we can go check that out. I believe it opens around 9. You know, oh, that's not where I wanted to put that. We're going to put that right there. And we'll take advantage of that rain today so that I won't have to water that. Check Pierre's market. Close. Ah. Okay, unfortunately it's closed on Wednesday, so we won't be able to go check that out. But we're going to head over to the mines. We'll, I'm going to come back and we'll work on that bulletin board on another day as well. Once once we go check out Pierre's store and we get the mine mining going a, a little bit. And if my memory serves me correct, the mine should be... Shucks. Yep. Mine is right there. This boulder is going to have to be removed before I can go there. I'm guessing that I can't... Don't know when that is. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of time. It, we might get something in the mailbox that we can go check on that. So in the meantime, I guess... Guess we're going to be continuing scavenge. Scavenge up our leeks, our parsnips, whatever I can find along the ground. We're going to try to sell all those because I know that 598 is just not going to be enough for that backpack, unfortunately. I, I, I wish it could be, but... Oh, those are horseradishes. Mm. Yeah, like, sorry, like I was saying, I wish it, it would be, guys, but... Fortunately, I think we're going to have to do a bit more farming before I can afford that backpack. To give us that extra inventory spacing. We'll sell off daffodils, my wild horse radishes, and I'll continue. 
continue to go around and see what I can find around the village. There's a leak. Perfect. There's another daffodil that we can pick up there. It's going to be a long, slow, boring day, unfortunately. I'll put an area down in the description that you can skip the surpass this boring, long, rainy day. It'll skip forward into the fourth day. Or it'll be Thursday. I'm hoping it won't be raining, but I will put that down in the description below. Fortunately, that's just the way things are going to be. There's not much really going on, so I, I'm going to use up my energy for the day and chop down some trees. I know wood's always useful, so get those trees down, maybe some rocks. I want to save all that grass because later on you can build a silo and that silo will, will be able to store some, I think it's hay, that, and that hay will be used for feeding all of our animals along the farm when there's no grass available to feed them. That's another option. However, I know on my other farm I've been playing, I've been using the hay. There we go, gonna grab one more tree, I think, before my energy runs too low. It's getting, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Yep, feeling exhausted. I gotta mope my way over to my house really quickly. Please don't pass out on the side. I don't feel like having to deal with that. Come on, please, dude, make it back to your bed. There we are. We're going to rest for the night and see how much money we've earned from th that rainy day. S leveled up. We've got one axe proficiency, so our trees will be dropping some seeds. we got our wild seed recipe, and we've made our delicious field snack. We're going to have to look into that. I think I'm going to craft one of those today. Hopefully I have the materials. If not, then I'm going to be making it maybe in another day. We'll check what the materials are needed right now. Going to go over into our crafting menu and we notice we need one acorn, one maple seed, and one pine cone. So unfortunately, I don't have any of that stuff. I'm going to have to be chopping some more trees and we'll see if I can manage to get that stuff. It's a nice day out, so I think I'm going to do that first and then move over to Pierre's farm and check how much that's going to be for that bag. Of course, I ought to water my plants before I, need, I can get any of that done. And there we are. Can 
looking to get rid of that sap. I want room for those maple seeds. See what that's gonna give me. Hopefully, remember that's the planted seed so I can check in on another day. Current funds, several earnings. I made 600. Not that much. Guess I'll make my way over to Peter's market. Locked. Yep, opens at 9. So while I wait, I'm going to check the bulletin board. See whose birthdays might be coming up. We have Lewis, our mayor. And we got some other people's birthdays here. Alright. I'm going to wait outside the store. Oh, Pierre! Open up! Come on, Pierre! There we are! Backpack! E! 2000 G's for our 24 slot backpack upgrade. I knew that 500 wouldn't be enough. Well, at 1,103, can't afford that right now. Maybe I'll make some, buy some seeds. I'll sell off some of this unwanted stuff to you. Just because I need to get some more money. So I'm going to plant. Let's plant some cauliflower. And... Let's try out some beans. They grow on trellis, so that sounds interesting. Let's grow six of those, I guess. Yeah, there we go. That looks good for now. Run that back to the farm and plant those. Oh, why, hello there. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? Yes, yes, I am, Maru. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Well, hi, Maru. It's nice to meet you. You know, with a small town like this and a new face, it can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Thanks. It's been great talking to you. I actually forgot that I have that challenge. Sometimes things just slip my mind when we're having fun. I don't really care about that, though, to be honest, because right now, I just want that backpack spacing. There we are. Cauliflower. There we go. And plant with two trellises. Crap, we need more water. I believe there is a lake down here. Fill up my old watering can.
There we are. Nice old water garden. Right there we go. Let's, let's go talk to some people now that we got that garden going up. I want to complete that challenge. Let's go see who we have in our village. So how was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. I think so too, Lewis. Who are you? Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Quiet type, aren't you? Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Sure will, Emily. Thanks for the offer. Not good enough friends? All right. We're gonna make that happen, Emily. We're gonna make that happen. Who else do we got here? Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. S shut up, Vincent. <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm a nice guy inside, I think. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Nice to meet you, Jody. It's quite a little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change this. Let's check your fields. It's locked. Only Leah's friends can enter uninvited. Now, who the hell is Leah? Eek. It's disgusting down there. Clean that up another time. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Thanks for the offer, Marnie. I'll make sure I come by sometime. I've already been in that house there. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Ew, ew, ew. Getting away from there. You ain't my Granny. You ain't my Granny! Alright, enough of that. Hello, you must be Keeks, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Don't think I have. I'll have to find her, but I want to see if Emily's at the saloon. It doesn't look like it. Alright, then. Let's meet this new guy over here. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drops Saloon. Hey, you look like you could use a beverage. Hey, what? No. 
Shut up. I don't need a beverage, Gus. Hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi. It's locked. Open nine to three. Alrighty. That's unfortunate. What you? Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Yikes. Bummer for her, I guess. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley! <laughs> Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. <laughs> Thanks, Haley. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot do voice impressions. I like to try, but I <laughs> really can't. Call that a day for the farm. Only seventy four G that day. <sighs> Bummer. New letter. To our valued Jojo Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to in a L61091, Jojo Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Jojo Customer Satisfaction Representative. Perfect, it looks like we can make it to the mines. On a rainy day like today, I think that's exactly what I wanna do. There we go, here we are. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this, you might need it. Awesome, we got a sword. You received a rusty sword. Perfect, exactly what I need to fight off those mobs. I think that's gonna do perfect, Marlin. I'm gonna just kill them off with all that rust. <laughs> Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. 
All right, looks like we got a new challenge. There's an old mine shaft in the mountains north of town. There could be valuable minerals inside, but Marlin hinted that it might be dangerous. Reach level five in the mines. Sounds like a plan, man. Don't got much else to do with a day like this. Is full. What can I sell and make room for that? There we go. There's our way down. Crap, I can't take that either. Okay, this is going to be really hard to do without the bag. I think I'm just going to work on trying to make my way down to that level 5, and then I can always come back and get that stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fight! 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 Die. There we go. Can't help myself but take this, of course. I'm gonna get rid of my coal, I guess, and just like all that. Let's fight off this dude. Perfect, though. Awesome. Seems that the mine elevator is still functional. It'll allow you to quickly return to any elevator doors you've discovered. A deeper expedition might be in order. Reach level 40 in the mines. All right, well, it looks like that level five was just for the elevator. Sweet, another geode was in that box. You found a geode, the local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside. Alrighty, awesome. I want to see what this is too. Uh, what can I get rid of though? Guess I'm gonna have to get rid of- I don't- I don't think there is anything I can get rid of, honestly. I'm gonna give up in the mines for the day. Cause it's really hard to be mining when I just don't have anything. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go back in the rain. I don't like the rain. All right, and here we are back to our humble home. Uh, looks like those are ready to be farmed up. Is there anything I can craft to store something? Oh, perfect. Looks like I got a chest. Unfortunately, in order to do that, it looks like I'm gonna have to pick something to throw out. I'm gonna have to pick that, I guess. And then I guess I can store that in there. But on the bright side, it looks like we have just accomplished our first achievement. 
and we made some cash in the long run. All right, and what's next? Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or barn so you can raise animals. And the other one we got is, as you can experience... Or as you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Alright, so I gotta reach farming level 1 and make a scarecrow. Doesn't seem too hard. Just gotta sell off some crops. I'm gonna sell those off in the bucket. And spend the rest of my little bit of the day grabbing some wood. Alright, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Looks like I'm going to have to make my way back up. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this content, please do like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Any feedback that I get is greatly appreciated and helps me pump out some more amazing content for you.